Welcome to John Maddox on Anthony's TV. And now we're looking at the new Elysis Command Mesh. And we've got, uh, we've got Tim, who's obviously got his warm English jumper on. You cold? Uh, I have been cold. <laughs> Ever since I hit this country, I've been a little cold. But it also matches our carpet, so it's perfect. Mm -hmm. So let's talk through this kit. It is, at the price point that it is, a great mesh kit, isn't it? So uh, I would say it's the best kit at this price point. I'll go out on a limb. Uh, but this is our brand new command mesh kit. So this okay. came out in January, yeah. and we've now got stock of it, and this is the first proper look that yeah. we've had of it. Absolutely, so. it's a brand new kit, and uh, I mean, the idea of what we're doing now is uh, we're taking that mesh head technology and we're bringing it down, 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 down. Because, you know, mesh heads are the preferred heads. You know, they're quieter, they play better, they feel better, you can tension them with a real drum key. So. The fact that we've got a really, really good set at this price point with mesh heads is amazing. I, this is probably my favorite in this price point. It's, it's, it's a really good kit. So, Command Mesh, and uh, shall I tell you a little bit about it? <laughs> we'll just stop the video. Stop the video, let's go. Uh, no, so, the talk us through some of the features. We've got sort of three mesh pads of the same size, bass drum and snare, so you've got multiple uh, dual zone pads, haven't you? So. Yeah, the, you know, this is an all mesh kit, so I, I would say they're all dual zone pads, and the snare is a 10, and then you have three 8 inch toms, and then you have an 8 inch bass drum. And it comes with a pedal as well, doesn't it? And it, it comes with a so really nice a little thing. drum pedal with it. So everything you need to get going, you have except a throne. And other than that, you've got a chair. And electricity. And, Huh? And electricity. Electricity, yeah, you got to have that. That is, actually, you can play them without electricity. They, they're, they're, very practice quiet. Kit, yeah. they're very quiet that way. But uh, yeah, so you've got a really nice set of mesh pads, and uh, you know, you've got uh, two, two 10 inch cymbals, you got a ride, you got a crash, and then you have a 10 inch hi hat. They're both chokeable. They're aren't they? both chokeable, and uh, of course, you know, you got to have them where they're chokeable. But, uh, and then the other thing is the rack is a really nice four post chrome rack. You got quick release clamps, and uh, you know the these are uh, symbol boom arms. This one's actually a boom arm as well. So you've got really nice boom arms. So if you like to get them in different positions, they're rocking. And then of course you have the command module, which is a super powerful module. It's actually the most powerful module at this price point ever. So it's pretty pretty good little package. Uh, one thing I really like about it is, I was telling you earlier off camera, is that, you know, for me, this just hits, hits it right on the head for drummers that, you know, say you love your acoustic drums, but, you know, you live in an apartment, you want to practice, you just need something that you can do your thing with, and this is just the right size, the right fit, it's very portable, so you can set this up, and if you've got to move it in the closet or move it over here, it's very easy to do, and you have all these great sounds and functions. We're going, going to go over some of them, but it's really every everything you need. I mean, this is really the, the perfect little package for me. When you're talking about the apartment thing, obviously we sell lots of um, kits to sort of children or younger players. You literally can plump this in the side of the bedroom and fold it out, but literally we've had a couple of kits in today. You can pick these up with one arm. So once you've unplugged the pedals, you can literally just pick it up and move it. So yeah. it, for that convenient sort of practicing or not a permanent setup thing, these are great because the rack just folds, one arm folds one way, one folds the other right. and it's just easy. Yeah, I mean, literally you can put this in your car and by yourself and or put it in the next room, whatever. It's it's really portable. It's, it's crazy portable. Well, you actually had two in the boot of one yeah. car this morning. So yeah. <laughs> That's true. It's, um, yeah, very small, but very convenient. So let's talk about some of the features on the module. Obviously, this module has been out before. Right. But so, they not many people know how powerful that is. I mean, it looks simple, and you've just got like one big dial and a few buttons, but actually, it does a lot. So yeah, it does a lot, and I, I think that's one thing a lot of people don't know. This this module was really on our Crimson kit, okay, which is a much more expensive kit. So not only have we added all mesh pads to this kit, but we've incorporated a higher end module into it. So you're getting a a lot of power for even less money. So the command module, as we call it, has, I think it's got like 680, almost 700 sounds. They're all really good sounds in there. So, you know, you have 70 different drum sets. So 50 of them are all kind of dialed in for you, and then you can mix and match, tune them all up, edit them, switch them around, take a snare from this one, a bass drum from this one, and create your own custom kits. So you have 20 kits that you can, can program yourself. 
and uh, you know, there's 120 songs in here that you can play along with. Uh, there, there's, you know, there's a lot of stuff in here. And, uh, but on the, on the front end, it's just really easy to, to program. So like, uh, if you want to change your kit, you got a kit button. If you want to go to song, you go to song button. I mean, that's really easy. So say you want to hit kit, right? You can come over here and you just use the dial to go through them. So, you know, you just be, let's go to, you know, kit number one is, acoustic kit you just the other thing I like to tell people is it's not just how good uh, uh, the kit sound it's how they play because a, a lot of times in this price range you know you'll get behind the the drum set and it sounds pretty good but they don't really execute you know like if you want to do like So, I mean, it really plays well. I mean, so if you're really, you want to practice your Steve Gadd or your Virgil or your, you know, Steve Smith or whoever, man, you can, you know, you can do it on this. There's like, you know, there's not anything like, oh man, this really won't, it just won't pull it off. You know, it pulls it off. It'll do your flams. It'll do your rudiments. It does everything. So that's why I really like it. It plays well, sounds well. Uh, like I said, the, the, program it it is a breeze so to change your kits you just do the dial right so you just go through all 70 kits pick you one out you know put on your headphones and rock out and uh, it's dead easy I can show you a couple other cool things that are kind of the basics uh, it's all really done right on this screen. I, I hope you can see it from this camera here. But if I want to pick a kit to edit, I just pick the kit and then I can go to menu and then I've got a list of parameters that I can adjust. So the simplest thing you might want to do is say, hey, I want to tune my snare drum. So each drum is an instrument or they call it a voice in here. So I'll just pick a voice, I'll go enter and then I can hit whatever pad I want to program and then I can just go down to volume, so if I want it to be quieter, right, or if I want to go to pan or pitch, now if I want to go to my bass drum, I just hit my bass drum and now I'm, I'm doing the pitch on my bass drum, all right, so I can go drum to drum and just tune it, pan it, do whatever I want, EQ it a little bit, and then I can just go save, and boom, I've got a, a new kit, and that's, that's it. That's the cool thing with Lectures, is you can tailor it to your own personality. You can come up with your own drum sound, and obviously, whatever headphones or in-ears or monitors or whatever, it's gonna sound the same, do you know what I mean? So you can move this, and you can go from playing in your flat or your apartment or whatever and then go to rehearsal and your sound is dial in. That's the cool thing with yeah. electronics. So. And, and when you stick this through a really nice PA, it's amazing how, how good it sounds. It'll blow your mind. I mean, you know, we ran it at NAMM. We had a really nice little system over there. We had an 18, I think it was a couple 12s. And man, it was like just, it's just fat. It was really good. So, I mean, these things sound really amazing. I mean, you know, they're pretty cool. It's, it's also cool when you make your own sort of kit and voice and sound, so you can literally just name it. So yep. if you wanted to, you've got 20 user kits, you could name it a set list if you wanted and you could yep. have each tune have its own kit. So that's another cool feature you can use on the app. Yeah, I mean, I think what I like about this one is it's just easy to do. It's not like a confusing menus. I mean, you do, it's simple. Hit kit, hit song, you're there. Go down, 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 up, 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 go in, change it, save. It's that easy. I mean, I, I don't even, you don't even need the manual with this, okay? I'm serious. You can figure it out on your own. It's that dead easy, you know? So, yeah, I mean, I, I really just play a couple of the kits that are pretty cool, like kind of little jazz kit.
Nice little jazz kit there. Of course, you got to have stuff. Yeah. Oh, I got to move my hat sideways. I was just about to say, you got to move yeah, the hat. bro. Anyway, I'm kidding. But yeah, I mean, it's got everything. It's got a lot of cool percussion in here. Kind of a 70s. Stuff like hi-hat, open and close. It's really the move you do to check out electronic hi-hat. You do that and if it responds, it's happening. Nice cool little kit, Latin. And the dual zone, it's pretty cool. Ah, jingle bell. Yeah, I mean, it's got tons of sounds. Like I say, it's almost, uh, almost, it's 681 is I think what it is. So almost 700 sounds in here and you can put any of them anywhere you want, you know, so it's cool. <laughs> that's, that's the cool thing with the user kits. You could have two snare drums if you wanted a particular tune. That had yeah, I mean, you want to be Chris Daddy Dave, man. Put your three <laughs> snare drums here. You're in. Yeah. I like your idea. I, I do that a lot. Too. I'll put the cowbell here. Yeah. So just, that way, you know, you know, if I need a cowbell, I'm there. And uh, like Jamie was saying on the other little video is what's nice is, you know, you can put the, the, the bread and butter sounds here. You can have the tambourine, you can have a hand clap, you can have a cowbell, but you don't have to sacrifice your real drum sounds. So, you know, you play the groove and when you need it, you're there. So, yeah. And again, another cool thing is a lot of guys are taking this and at home, they set it up this way, right? And they do their practicing, but you can also, you know, get your double tom stand, take it to the gig and take your module. And now you've got a little bit of a hybrid setup with your acoustic cat. So these can go either way. So let's let's talk about what we've got on the side. So we've got USB and we've also got multiple outs, haven't we? Well, no, on this one you only have stereo, okay? Uh, you headphone. have a left and right stereo, which is kind of the standard for this price point. If we had multiple <laughs> outputs for this price... Oh, I meant man. you had headphone, USB, oh, and yeah, left and yeah. right, so yeah. there's more than just Yeah, I thought you meant multiple out. outputs. I was like... Uh, Not instrument outs. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, all of our modules have some things in common, okay? Like, we're going to pretty much our whole lineup is all mesh, okay? So we prob we have more all mesh kits than any other company out there. That's the bottom line, okay? And uh, some things we have is they all have metronomes built in, okay? And they all have auxiliary ins, you know, and headphone outs, okay? So all our modules have that. So the auxiliary in is really cool because, I mean, a lot of times if I want to just practice, I'll take my iPhone or whatever and just plug it right in, put on my headphones and go. And then, you know, you have your headphone out. So, you know, I mean, that's the most important thing. You can practice in quiet. And then you have a left and right out. And then you have a USB and MIDI out. This one actually has the ability to load your own sample. So this one has two USB ports. All right. And we can show a little bit of that in a minute. But uh, like a lot of guys will come in and, and, and they want this to do recording with. So you just take one cable out, USB cable out right into your computer and then each one of these will have a MIDI note number and then you just change it and line it up with your software and you know your triggering software, put it in record mode, you're rocking. So this is a great little uh, controller kit to, to do MIDI sequencing and uh, you know play other samples. So USB port, MIDI, auxiliary in, and uh, the, the thing that really makes it unique, too, for this price point is the fact that you have that other USB input and you can put in a, a USB flash drive, okay? So what that enables you to do is bring in your own samples, okay? So say you've got uh, a Black Beauty snare drum that you love and, you know, you're doing your gig and you need that sound. Well, if you've got it, you just put it on a USB flash drive, pop it into here, go in, load it in and then you can assign it anywhere okay so you can actually load samples into this uh module and that's probably where the user kits are going to come in most most helpful because you can load your, you're not disturbing the presets and then you've got yeah. your home kit your acoustic kit as one of the presets yeah absolutely i mean that's that's the whole idea so you can take from any of those uh 680 sounds tune them tweak them eq them and just put them in position, 
that's your individual kit, then you're like, oh great, now I'm gonna bring in my custom sample, which nobody else has, boom, put it there, now you've got a really unique kit that no one else has, and then you're rocking and rolling, and then you can plug into a computer, or you can record it audio, or whatever you want, but that ability of customization is not available from anybody else, okay, at this price point, that's what I keep saying, you've got an all mesh kit, you've got a really powerful module and the ability to bring in your own stuff for under 700 that's pretty darn good yeah open source tends to be from other brands a lot more expensive so that's for people that really not even maybe not even a drummer if there's a guitarist that goes oh, I'm, I'm having this in my sort of like home studio setup you can then midi straight out and have open source which is great absolutely I mean say you're a guitar player or a keyboard player and you know you got a studio and you want your drummer pals to come over but maybe they don't have an electronic kit or you know whatever you can it you know this is something you could get your dough together and 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 get this in your studio and whenever you have drummers come in you just have it all dialed in and they can come in and they can do the playing and you're you're ready to go because there's there's actually a lot of musicians overall besides drummers that are investing in, in electronic drum kits like I said I don't see anything in in this kit you're missing I mean it's always nice to go up and have more you know maybe bigger pads and all this other stuff but I mean this is this this nails everything right here I mean the command mesh is really a, a great kit a few features we haven't talked about is backlit so when we're at a gig you can see it um, bass drum also fits a double pedal for those people that are inclined yeah. on it yeah um, I mean that's important I think because some of the littler ones out there just give you one little pad and it's hard to fit the double pedal on there and then it kind of wobbles. So this one has a really nice, nice eight inch mesh uh, uh, playing surface so a, any type of double pedal will fit on this and uh, you can you know go. It does come with the bass drum pedal which saves you that cost as well so we included all the pedals uh, with our lower end kits so that way we feel if it's uh, it's a great benefit to our to our brand to, to have the pedal in there. And when you set it up you, when you see the beta, one side's plastic, one side's felt, you actually want to use the plastic side. Everyone thinks you need to use the felt, you don't, you need to use the plastic. Yeah, and that's the rule. Whenever it's a mesh bass drum head, use the plastic. The felt actually wears against it. It's really a weird phenomenon. It, it, it kind of just wears it down, so the plastic is better. Uh, that's an ongoing... Uh, something we always tell everybody because every time I go in a music store I see the felt on there but uh well we get it in store where customers turn it around thinking they're doing the right, right thing yeah exactly at the start of every morning you go oh yeah three of them are turned around so I, I wanted to mention too you can also load in your own mp3s and and songs so if you want to there's a lot of songs in here to play along with but uh, if you want to bring in your own custom mp3s and songs you can do that easily so the USB uh, flash drive let you load samples in and it lets you save and uh, uh, bring in your own kits and songs okay all on on it I think you can have 99 of them on there so it's it's pretty uh, pretty advanced it's, it's pretty amazing do you want to play one of the tunes quickly so we can yeah hear it? yeah uh, I like to you know I'm a, a, I'm a Bob Marley fan so basically you can hit uh, your uh, song button and then number 23 is kind of cool. What I like about this is you can come here and, and you can actually take out the drums. So if I just hit play, so I can take out the drum. What's cool though is you can actually take any of your songs and assign them to a pad. So I can show you how to do that real quick. So say I want to hit that reggae thing on my kit. So I'll come over here to, uh, I'll go to menu. Oh, let me get out of this one. Let's go to kit, right? And I'll hit menu and I'll go to voice, right? I'll go enter. Actually, I just need to stay in voice. And I can go enter and go down, 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 down. Uh, first of all, I hit my symbol. Then you go to the very end and it, it says pad song. All right? So basically you go to voice, go down the pad song, and then you just dial it in. And I think it's number 23. 
right? And now when I hit the pad, whatever song I've selected should kick off. So you can take any of the songs and assign them to a pad and it's really cool. I mean, you'll say you're, you know, you want to do, you know, practice doing eights or fours. You can hit it, do four, boom, come back in, you know, make sure you're on tempo. So uh, it's really cool. And of course, you can record yourself with this thing. So it has a built-in recorder. So say you pick a tune, like a reggae tune, you take out the drums Okay, pick the tempo you want, and then boom, hit record, and you play along with it, and then you stop it, and then you push play, and you can hear yourself play with that, with that track. So that's particularly good for guys that maybe don't have uh, uh, musicians around them that can play reggae, or play funk, or jazz, or samba, or whatever. So you can take all the genres that are in there, take out the drums, and then record yourself playing to them, and listen back. Okay, and then if you're like not really sure what kind of groove you're supposed to do, then you can just bring up the drums and it gives you a decent little example. So really, hey, it's pretty cool. I enjoy that. You know, I, I practice with this. I mean, you know, uh, some of them aren't my cup of tea, but, you know, there's tons of them in there that I love that I can play along with. Recording yourself, though, is something that not, not a lot of people do it. But when you listen back and you're not actually playing, you hear and go, oh, wow, my bass drum is really quiet. Yeah, or, I do well, that a lot. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's a good teaching and a good learning tool. And, and it's sort of a self, sort of uh, self uh, determining whether you're, I think how it's you really imagine important. yourself sounding and Absolutely. then what actually comes I, out. I honestly, I mean, all, in all seriousness, it's super important that you listen to yourself play because that's one of the most important things. Because you'll find that, you know, you think you sounded good on it, but when you play it back, you're like, ah, wow, I was, that wasn't exactly on, or I was rushing or dragging or, you know, whatever. And I think it's, I, I think that's one of the best things about this piece is that you can actually listen to, to what you're doing and, and figure out whether you've got the groove right or if you're playing right. Yeah, I, I use it all the time. And it's something you don't realize doing, because drums are so physical, you might be on the ride and you go, all right, I'm just going to hit a crash. And you just hit it really hard. You don't yeah. necessarily know you're doing it because you're just in that moment. So it's, it is really good. I remember the first time I sort of heard myself and you go, oh my God, that's not how I imagined it would sound. So right. to be able to do that at this price point and then just go, oh, I can correct that straight away yeah. is a really cool feature. So yeah. it just makes people's progression on the instrument that much easier. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you're starting to get the picture. You know, you got a really good, you know, all mesh kit, super powerful module, a lot of features that are easy to get to and use. That's what I'm saying. This thing's so easy, you don't even need the manual. Really solid rack. And uh, I mean, like I said, I, I think this kit right here gives the drummer everything he really needs uh, in, 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 in a great price point. So I, I highly recommend this kit. So we've got them in store. Come and check them out. Tim's coming all the way so you can come in. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thank you guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching the Anderton's Drum Channel. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you're a guitar player or a bass player, you play keyboards or you're into music technology, we've got other YouTube channels that you might be interested in and I'll put links to those in the description below. Anyway, if you want to find out more about the products we showed in this video, please click up here. If you'd like to watch another video from the Drum Channel, please click over here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this one or in lots of other colors, click down here. And finally, if you'd like to subscribe to the Anderton's Drum Channel, please click down here. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.